What's up? I have another collective message. And another collective message. And another collective message. Share your voice. Come out of the cage. That's what I did. I had to retreat from everything. Look how she's trying to get her attention. And I don't have time. I'm too busy receiving downloads. Huh. Hi. I work hard for what Hi. I have. I deserve Hi. the critically acclaimed Hi. fame, Hi. fortune, everything. Hi. Hi. Look at that. Hi. Hi. I think they're scared of what I might say next. Blue obsidian. Cool to the core. Is creating from a natural volcanic glass. It has the ability to expand natural talents. See that? Astral travel and envisioning dreams. Are you a priestess or a priest? Hmm? I heard they're doing it wrong. Somebody's a copycat, a doppelganger. You, this is what I do. This is who I've always been as long as I've been alive. It clears away mental clutter and makes a way for you to clear channeling and intuitive messages. Mm -hmm. Then you have calcite. Double trouble. <laughs> it starts off saying double trouble. It can amplify energy for higher awareness and healing, pairing well with other crystals and taking on their attributes to increase their metaphysical ability, a powerful dissolver and transforms negative energy for release and renewal. It also aligns the chakras, cleansing the aura of toxicity and renewing energy. Basically, take that negative ass energy you keep trying to send over here, you watching, it's okay to watch, it's okay to learn, okay? It's even okay to ask questions, but take that shit back down the street somewhere. Hey, you got a man, right? Go play with him like that. This is my authenticity. This is what I do. Okay? Now somebody think they belong with me. You don't belong with me. You belong where you took your ass down the street somewhere. King of Pentacles. You went from you're working on it. Mm hmm That path of, of fame and fortune. Why? Because of who you are. Now there are other empress and empress. But who I'm talking to, you only deem it will take you years. It will take you forty years. To even even out with me. To make it even kill. Okay? Let's just be for real. You don't seek enough knowledge. You don't do enough studying. That's what the Page of Swords is about. Research. Okay? You just don't. Now somebody's in regret. Because this is what I do. I alchemist energy. I alchemist reality. And just go. And now somebody's like, Damn, I miss her. But who she want, who she with? That's God's helping hand. She don't replenish herself. She don't repent it and kept on going. Like, cut your losses. Okay? This isn't your target audience. She went to go perform. She took the center stage. The center stage. Speak up and let your voice be heard. Oh. Whew. Yep. And she's getting praised for it. Excuse me. That's my kid, y'all. Sorry. And she's getting praised for it. Yes, yeah, she is. She was patient. She was patient. Oh, there's somebody backing her up, too. Like, that that means something. This, this is somebody who want to see her do it, who take the stage as well. Especially a lion, a Leo. My Leo diamonds. That's right. Mm -hmm. He balances her. She's at the point in her spiritual journey where she's, she's very balanced and very healed so she can be friends with somebody like that. She could, And that means she can attract somebody like that. So before you start saying this and saying that, first of all, nobody cares what you have to say because I'm true to myself. There's nothing you can do about that. Now you can take from me about that. Go ask my parents about me. They are authentic and eccentric just like me. They are the traditional eccentric rock star seeds especially my dad okay my mother too i can't take that away from her she's her own eccentricity can't nobody. she had people mad yo 
all. My mom would just antagonize and antagonize and antagonize some more. Have people in regret. They don't try her. Okay, because she's, she's something else. So as I'm receiving these telepathic messages, I heard you was talking shit about me, but what's new, Pussycat? I'm taking ritual baths. I'm, my aura is cleansed from all that toxic foolishness. Says this empress. Uh-huh. Says this fool's journey. Yeah, she she on a new level. She's on a different level. Okay? Don't try to study her. You won't graduate. That's more than choices. That's authenticity. And guess what? She got the fame and fortune. She does. Mm-hmm. What does it say? Expansion. Like, there is no word in the English dictionary that can really describe the feeling that runs through this person's body. Like, it's, it's a nervous, it's almost a nervous condition, but it's not, but not really. But it's, it's no way to describe that. There's really no way to describe what this, this person works through every single day. As she's working on her gifts, as she's working on herself. You saw that Eight of Pentacles, right? You can do some self care. You want to do some self care? This is what, like, what are some of the things she does? Like a rock star. You want to know what they do, what they eat, what, how they poop. Like, come on. Like, you want to know everything. Like, what are some of the things she does to keep herself even kill, to keep herself balanced? Because you have the lovers and the temperance. Those are opposing zodiac signs Gemini and Sagittarius. Hell yeah. That's what she do. That's what she do. It sharpens that third eye. Them, them psychic abilities. What else she do? Take care of herself. You got to detox inside out. You got to make sure everything is functioning properly. That's right. She dances. You don't dance. Yes, she do. That's her in the front. Look. That big old booty. Mm -hmm. What else does she do? Connect with... I know, y'all. I, I show crystals in all the videos because they're so pretty and they, they, they do embody like different energies and they do pull on different things, different strength abilities. Mm -hmm. Sync with the moon. No moon magic. I feel like this is the same way she syncs with the moon is how she syncs with her cycle. And that's a, her, it's about her intuition. You know, she can, I like how her hair looks like outer space. Like she, I feel like this girl spends more time in the spiritual realm than she does in practicality. That might be true a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with it because she's a great teacher. She's an awesome teacher. Like she could teach this stuff. Hmm. So how, so her is a spirit junkie, like. What are some of the things, like, if you had to meet, if you ever met her, what would, what would you want her to say? What would you want her to say to you? All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I'm safe. So, basically, she had to, her frequency is so high. It's like, you become in sync with her. Like, look at the, 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 the currencies. Every time, it's like, what she says Vibrate, it stimulates your mind so much it feel like somebody's massaging your brain. Now that's dope. She would tell you to do what she do. Cherish every cell in your body. See how the nerves are screaming? It's almost like you're anxious. But it's a feel good. It's a good feeling. It's like I can't explain it. And there's no such thing as a mistake. Everything happens in divine order. She has a lot of pearls of wisdom is what I'm getting. And then, you know, you're being guided to grow and learn. Hmm. I would want to hang out with her. I would want to be friends with her. So let's see. How do you how how do you encourage people to deal with their emotions? What advice do you have to deal with the subconscious? Like everybody don't know how to heal and grow. They just watch you do it. So what would what else would you teach them? A new romantic cycle begins. So uh, what I take from this is you you, you want to fall in love with yourself first before you can show up for anything and anyone any any project anything that you that makes your soul feel good 
that's what you should be doing this is like romanticizing your everyday life this is about only fixating on what makes you come what makes you climax what else work through your fears that's right don't don't be in a shell you know practice intimacy with yourself right what else and you're good enough you have to know that about believing yourself and i know that you do but you definitely want to believe in yourself you definitely you definitely when you start you start sounding pessimistic when you do you forget how to work through your fears and stuff you know, when you don't want to just admit something is going on. When people cross you, like, for example, you know, you have to learn to forgive people quickly. I pardon everybody that crossed the line with me because I don't have that in my heart. I'm not going to bed like that. I'm not approaching my creative endeavors like that. I'm not approaching myself like that. I'm not approaching my Lord like that. And I'm damn sure not teaching spirituality with that on my chest, release my resentment and set myself free. I'm very much a gypsy soul, a free spirit. So until next time.